Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. This is the third video in a series about building a real-time analytics application on access logs. And in this video, we're going to learn how to massage messages in a Kafka stream using the Faust stream processor. Uh, so you remember, this is the architecture diagram of the entire system that we're going to build. But for this video, we're only gonna be focusing in the middle. So we're gonna be focusing on the, the events coming into our event streaming platform. And then we're gonna be using a stream processor to take those events, do some massaging uh, off the events themselves, and then writing the new events into a different topic or a different stream. And we're gonna be doing this using a library called Faust. And there are actually two versions of this library. There's one called Faust, and then there's one called Faust Streaming. Uh, and Faust Streaming is actually a fork that supports Python 3.10 and above. So that's the one we're gonna be using. And so let's now come over to our terminal so we can remind ourselves where we got up to the last time that we were writing data into Kafka. Uh, and so we've got our kcat command here. So we're uh, querying the, the access topic. And so you can see there, we've, these are the messages uh, that we've got in the access stream. And you can see in the middle there, we've got the message. And so what we wanna do is we're gonna open up Visual Studio Code and we're gonna write our first Faust application that's going to process the messages from that access topic. Um, so what you can see on the screen now is we can see our requirements.txt file. Uh, and notice that we need to make sure we're importing Faust-streaming and not Faust. Uh, so now let's open uh, app.py. Uh, so what you can see here is an outline of our Faust app. And so you can see at the top, we're specifying uh, the Kafka broker. Uh, we've also got the Kafka topic, so that's specifying the access uh, topic. And then we've got a, down the bottom, uh, we've got a for loop that's kind of going through all the messages that are coming onto that Kafka stream. And at the moment, we're just writing them out. If we come over to the terminal again, uh, we can run our Faust app. Uh, and so you can kind of see like running through there, you can see lots and lots of yellow. And so those are all the messages uh, being printed out. And if we just stop Faust, and let's just have a look a bit up, one of the messages is being printed. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code now. Uh, and so what you can see now is we've got the access log parser class that we wrote in one of our previous videos. Uh, and in particular, look at the pass function that's gonna be used to take those log entries and then expand it out into the different components. And so now we'll open up app.py and we're gonna import the access log parser, uh, and then we'll go down into our for loop and we're gonna call the parse function on the message property of each of our events. Uh, and we'll store that in a, in a variable, let's call it expanded message, and then let's append that uh, onto the event. Now let's go back up uh, and we're gonna create our output topic, which we'll call enriched access logs. And now finally we can come down and let's send a message to that output topic. So we'll put in a key and we'll put in our value. And then finally, we don't really need the print anymore. So let's comment that out. And now we can go back to our terminal. And before we run Faust again, uh, we need to make sure that we create that topic in Kafka. So we're gonna, we're gonna run the Kafka topics command. We'll pass in the bootstrap server, pass in the name of our topic, uh, and then finally the create command at the end. Uh, and so there we go. We've got confirmation that the topic's been created. And so now we can run our Faust app again. There's nothing being outputted this time because we took away that print command. So we're gonna come over to the other terminal tab and we'll run kcat, but this time on the enriched access logs. And so you can see, there we go. We can see like that the expanded message is there in the middle, but let's just update JQ so that it only pulls out the expanded message. And so there you go. You can see so each of our messages in the enriched access logs topic is gonna have um, that uh, property added. Uh, and so that's the end of uh, this video. And so we've, we've learned how to take um, a message from one Kafka stream, do a bit of massaging or manipulation of that data and then write the result into a new Kafka stream. And so in our next video, we're, we're gonna take the data from the enriched access log stream and we're gonna load it into Apache Pinot so that we can write some analytics queries uh, on top of that data. Uh, so I hope to see you in that video.